day. It is 9.15 in the morning and I have already taken a shower and gotten myself ready for the day. This is something that I wanna to try to do every single day. That way it kind of keeps me motivated um, to not sit on the couch all day long because if I leave my pajamas on and I decide that I'm not gonna put any makeup on or do my hair for the day, then I am very, easily tempted to sit on the couch all day long and watch shows like the tiger king not gonna lie and it's a lot and it's easier to do that too when brian is home because when he's home and he's working um he actually is sitting in the dining room when he's working this morning he actually went into his office um they are actually doing like skeleton um a skeleton crew right now, I guess that's what you call it. Like they started that last Monday where um, their secretary goes in Mondays and Fridays. Brian will go in on Tuesdays and a half a day on Thursday. And then his other partner will go in on Wednesdays and then a half a day on Thursday. So um, yeah, they're just kind of doing a skeleton crew right now. But anyway, when he's home and he's sitting in the dining room, it's, um, I, it's hard for me to like watch a TV show or anything like that because I have to kind of keep the TV on low. Um, so I try to keep myself busy while he is um, here at the house working and I um, but it's it's also very easy to sit on the couch and watch TV not gonna lie <laughs> but uh, anyway I've uh, filled my water up I usually fill this up probably around 7 30 in the morning I just didn't do that this morning um, that's always like my norm but I just didn't this morning um, and then I um, always add lemons to it as well lemons that I've already cut up and I just kind of keep in the refrigerator which I noticed that I probably need more lemons <laughs> It's just like always something and I wish I would have uh, remembered that yesterday when I placed my order for some groceries because we placed an order yesterday and got um, just a few things delivered here. I kind of showed you guys and told you guys what it was like milk and other things but I uh, didn't realize I was out of lemons or almost out of lemons. I think they might last me the rest of the week. I don't know. If not, I will place another small order because I'm sure we'll run out of something between now and Friday. But anyway, um, yeah, so today basically what I wanted to do is I am going to, uh, let me go get it and I'll show you guys. Alrighty, so the other day when Brian and I ran into Lowe's really quick, I picked up this scouring stick because I saw that uh, Crystal Tara had used one on her toilets because she was having a hard time with some like rings that were staying inside of the toilets that she could not just scrub off. It was very, very difficult. So, and I have the same thing and I'm sure many people do as well. But I picked up the scouring stick and I thought that I would go ahead and give it a try. It actually shows right there for toilets. So I thought that I would give it a try. Somebody asked yesterday if I was going to use it or when I was going to use it please let them know well I'm gonna try it today and see if I can scrub the toilet and see if I can get that ring off by using this I normally use which I still will use this I always use these um, Clorox like little they hook on the end of a wand and you can just like um, clean your toilets that way but these don't like get that ring off they just kind of get all of like the loose stuff off that's in your toilet that you know kind of gets in there and gets yucky so I use these um, but I'm gonna use these. So that's what I'm gonna do, but first things first, I have some dishes over here on the counter that I need to put away that I washed last night that wouldn't fit in the dishwasher because I kind of let all that stuff pile up yesterday. And then I put them all in the dishwasher last night and then washed the ones that I couldn't fit in there. So I'm gonna put those away and then uh, I'm gonna straighten up the living room a little bit, finish sweeping the floor in there and vacuuming what I did yesterday. And then, um, and then I'm gonna go to the toilets and we're gonna work on that stuff. Um, I will let you guys know how it how it um, how it works, but I will put gloves on <laughs> when I go to the toilet. I usually do anyway, um, only because it's just gross. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Bye. Oops. I actually forgot. I am gonna be making uh, stuffed peppers for dinner tonight, and Brian does not like stuffed peppers, um, but I do. So I'm gonna be making them for myself, and then I'll have enough for like for lunch tomorrow or whatever. So I bought three peppers the other day um, from the store. Well, they brought them to me. And um, I actually did ground beef last night. Y'all see I'm in my yoga pants and a black shirt. It's just a, excuse the belly. Um, 
But anyway, I'm very comfortable. No need to like get all dressed up. But anyway, I am gonna make, I had the ground beef last night that I made, and I'm just gonna put them inside of the stuffed peppers and cut those and then add my marinara sauce, or excuse me, my spaghetti sauce. And then I always put rice in it as well, so I'll have to add rice inside of this recipe. So I'm very, very excited about it. I've been wanting stuffed peppers for a minute now, and tonight I'm going to have them. They're going to be so darn good. That needs to focus on... Focus, 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 focus. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make, start making these peppers. And then... I'm gonna get busy putting this stuff away. I need to get these peppers started first though. Bummer. All right, this pepper is already yuck. Guys, I've only had this in my fridge for like, I don't know, since Thursday. I didn't really think that these would go bad so quickly, but they did. Unfortunately, that one's not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna hope that these two are okay. This one seems a little bit soft, but um, I'm hoping this one seems a little soft too, but I'm hoping that once I cut them open, they will be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them off, wash them up really good, and then I'm gonna cut them. I'm trying to take the sticker off right now. Oh my gosh, sticker's not coming off. Really? Oh my gosh, okay. All right, stickers are off, and now I'm going to rinse these off. I'm gonna turn you guys around so you guys can see I'm rinsing my peppers off. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but this is the same crock pot that I used yesterday for our queso. And um, I just cleaned it in the dishwasher and pulled it out and now it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna hopefully open these and these look just fine. Yay, I'm so happy about that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and even um, rinse the inside. I don't know if you guys do that or not, but I always tend to rinse the inside of these as well and just kind of get all the loose seeds out of there. And that is what I'm going to do with this one. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I just hope this one is just as fine on the inside. And not all yuck. Yes, perfect. So this one looks good as well. Just loosening up the seeds. All right, I'm going to rinse these. Alrighty, so I'm actually going to pour a little bit of my sauce inside of the crock pot, just a little bit, and then I'm going to take my meat and start putting it inside of my peppers along with the rice. But first, my mom always does this, and I always thought I always do this too, is she just kind of salt and peppers the inside of the pepper, um, just to actually kind of give it a little bit more flavor, so she does that. And then I did the same thing, because that's what my mom always did. And now I'm going to take a spoon and scoop the meat inside of here with a couple of shakes of rice. Okay, so we're going to start by putting some of the meat inside of the peppers. And I'm actually going to put some rice in there as well. I know this is probably not like the way some people would do it, but this is the way I usually do it, and it always works out just fine. rice actually I'm just gonna do this a lot easier rice and then stir it all around this is just like my non-technical way of making peppers stuffed peppers and obviously the rice will cook with the meat in the crock pot so it'll all cook just fine all right so this pepper is stuffed full of meat and now i'm going to place it inside of the crock pot and then i'm going to do the same thing with this one actually i'm going to do this that's a lot easier <laughs> oh, i was trying to make things so difficult Perfect. 
And now I have both of the peppers sitting inside of the crock pot. Just like that. So that's what they look like. Now I'm going to, and see that was gonna be for my third pepper. And now that I don't have my third pepper, I'm just gonna probably add it to this and just let it cook inside of there with all of that. So the way I have is like extra meat. So there's my stuffed peppers. Alrighty, so I just added all the rest of the meat on top and I just kind of put it all the way around. And now I'm just gonna put the rest of my sauce all over. And then I'm just gonna let this cook all day long and that's it my stuffed peppers are going to be cooking now i'm going to put the lid on there it's on high yay Alrighty, so i first cleaned the toilet with that clorox wand and little toilet scrubbers these things right here and now I opened up the scouring pad, which was in plastic, so I had to take it out of the plastic. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna scrub the toilet and I'm gonna see how well it works. So I'm going in, going in folks. washed my hands really really well um, for the most part that thing did really really good it got off all of the hard water stains that were stuck in the toilet there is a couple of spots that probably need a little bit more muscle than what I have so I'm gonna see if well Brian will probably do well not probably he will do it for me because he wants them off just as bad as I do so um, yeah so when he gets home later on I will just have him do that for me and then that toilet will be like brand new it looks amazing so I'm very very impressed with the scouring sticks and like I said I got this at Lowe's and I think it was like $2.99 um, so yeah if you guys are having problems with hard water um, stains on your toilet or your bathtub or anything like that this stuff will work but you got to really put some muscle into it because if you don't it won't come out but um, yeah I mean I broke a sweat trying to do it so awesome so I'm glad that that worked Woohoo! On to the next project. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I just finished doing a couple of videos. I actually just posted another video today, so you guys got like two videos today. The other video that I just posted was a video tutorial on how to fold a fitted sheet. That is, like I said before, one of the most highly requested videos or tutorials that you guys have asked for. So I did it. There it is. I hope that you guys like it. I hope that it works. I hope that you guys find the tutorial easy. And I hope that you guys are able to fold a fitted sheet just as perfectly as I can. So I'm hoping for you. I know you can do it. I'm rooting for you guys. I know you got this. But I wanted to show you guys what my... Um, peppers stuffed peppers look like right now as you guys can see the rice is cooking really really well everything looks really great inside of here it smells so good throughout the house so i'm just letting it cook a little bit longer obviously because it's only one o'clock so it's got a long time to cook so uh the other video that i did today was i showed you guys how to decorate this beautiful this was my tripod this beautiful tiered tray for Easter so you guys will have a very nice tutorial on that as well uh, so yeah I've just kind of been cranking out the videos and getting those edited and up and ready for you guys to watch and then I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because I need to get it also up edited um, and in queue for you guys so yeah it actually just rained here so bad and the wind was just like howling. It was so scary. But it just like brightens everything up outside. It's like you look out the window right now and everything's green. Like all the trees across the street, everything's like a bright green. It looks so pretty. And I would show you guys, but if I turn you guys this way, my camera will probably, yeah, you guys won't be able to see it. So it just looks so very, very pretty. But anyway, that's it. So I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.